Hola estudiantes, it's Mrs. Santiago here, and today we're going to take our Culture in Pictures notes on Costa Rica. I'm in your OneNote, Chapter 3, Costa Rica Culture in Pictures. I'm going to eliminate the table of contents, and I'm going to make the page big. So Costa Rica, you can see their flag is Azul Blanco Rojo, Blanco Azul. Um, Costa Rica, rich coast. Okay, remember in Spanish, it's going to be flipped. So Puerto Rico, rich port. Costa Rica, rich coast. Okay, um, important fact right here off the bat, nothing to write for this little piece, but I do want to point it out, super important. Okay, so Costa Rica, and I'm talking about this, but I'm going to bubble it so you can see it. Okay, Costa Rica has had no army since 1948. They are considered a peaceful democracy. That's kind of important to know. Okay, just pointing that out right away. So here in the center of the page, we have the map of Costa Rica. You can see to the north, we have Nicaragua. To the south, Panama. Okay, and then Costa Rica has two little bump outs, and you can't see it because the flag is there, but it kind of goes like that. Okay, so two little bump outs on the western side. So this is El Oeste, and this side is the Este. So Costa Rica, lucky enough, right, to be in the Caribbean. So this is the Caribe. And on this side, you can see they have the Pacifico. Um, San Jose, interesting. You can see here's the capital. I would probably put a star there. Um, it is surrounded by volcanoes and it sits in kind of a bowl. Um, large city, second largest city on the Caribbean side is Puerto Limon. And then up here, you can see this is Arenal. Okay. We're going to keep going. Let's talk about the top. Okay, Arenal, it's a segue. So looking up to this picture, very tall, perfect cone-shaped volcano. It has been quiet since 2010. That is Arenal. Okay, Arenal volcano or Volcan Arenal. So you might want to, if you do it first, it would be Volcan. Arenal. Okay, Arenal Volcano. Let's go down since we're on this side. So Parque Nacional Tortuguero is kind of on the Caribbean side. And I put the picture of the turtles here because this is on the Caribbean side. This is where the green sea turtles go to lay their eggs every year. So Parque Nacional Tortuguero, right? The word for turtle is tortuga. So tortuga, la tortuga, the turtle. That will explain to you why it's called Parque Nacional Tortuguero. Okay, let's go down. You can see the big city. So Caribbean coast port city, rich history of Afro-Caribbean culture, it is the cruise ship East Coast port. Um, when I came in on a cruise ship, I absolutely docked at this port. So this is called Puerto Limon. Puerto Limon. Okay. Let me go across so you can see the next one. So the Oso Peninsula, that is this peninsula right here. I'm going to draw an arrow. The Osa Peninsula is where the Parque Nacional Corcovado is. It's one of the world's most biodiverse re regions. Biodiverse. Diverse. We're going to talk about that word in just a minute one of the world's most biodiverse regions. So here you can see a lot of animals, monkeys, owls. Um, I don't know the name of this animal at the bottom, but it's in the family of the Kawadi. 
And then you can see people with the looking, they're in the rainforest with the tree that they can walk through. All right, let's scroll up. Last picture on this page. The capital city located in the bowl of the Central Valley is a mix of old and new. So San Jose. San Jose. San Jose, Costa Rica. Okay, let's go to page two. Page two. Okay, the main crop in Costa Rica is cafe or coffee beans. Okay, this man is picking coffee beans, if you've never seen coffee beans picked. And in the old times, they used to move the coffee beans to the coast in these ox carts. So you're going to hear boyero. The boyero carts or ox carts, um, right now they're painted and they're used as almost a symbol of Costa Rican folk culture. So you can get the wheels that are painted and bring one home and hang it in your house. They're super pretty. But they were actually how they moved the coffee to the ports. Okay, let's throw in a little bit of food. So this is a typical breakfast in Costa Rica. It is called gallo pinto. Okay, gallo pinto means painted rooster. It is an egg plantain um, and bean and rice breakfast. Um, expect to eat rice and beans at every meal. Costa Rica was the country that I've been to where I ate more rice and beans than I've probably eaten in months, all in one week. So for breakfast, we had a heavy meal of eggs, um, rice and beans, plantains, avocado, and some fruit. For lunch, we had a big meal, rice and beans um, with some kind of a meat and vegetables. And then at night, you just had rice and beans and vegetables. I ate with the local people. I want to go to the right. Um, this is a picture. What do you think that is? Look at it close. Let me pull in the picture close. Some of these words you should be able to figure out, right? Aluminio, vidrio, plastico, um, basura, I'm going to call it. No recicla, no recicla, reciclable, I can't say it, reciclable. And then the last one, papel y cartón. Punto ecológico. Okay, so they are the world leader in recycling. They are serious about becoming sustainable and zero waste. To the left, you can see a picture of the two-time president, non-consecutive. So he was president, then he wasn't president, and then they elected him president again. He was a leader in the peaceful democracy movement, and he received the Nobel Peace Prize for actually helping to create peace in the region. So I'm going to write that down here. He won the Nobel Prize. His name is Oscar Arias. Oscar Arias. I feel like there's no I there. I think it's Arias. Oscar Arias. Okay, over to the side here. Um, ecotourism. Okay, ecotourism is a big deal in Costa Rica. Eco-ecology and obviously tourism, we know what it is. So what does that mean? Tourists visiting the natural habitats of the plants and the animals. But this gets tricky because you, it has to be carefully crafted and created so that when you bring, bring people in to see nature, they do not damage nature. So it, you have to create, I'm going to put the word here, balance. You have to find a balance of letting people see it, but without ruining it. So look at the green statement. The top 10 greenest countries in the world. Number one, Sweden. Number two, Norway. 
Number three, number three, Costa Rica. What does it mean to be green? Again, it's about no carbon waste. You're recycling. Um, you're creating an area where there is a lot of natural habitat. Okay, next page, biodiversity. I told you we were gonna talk about this word. Biodiversity is the number of flora and fauna, or flora is plants, and fauna is your animals, including humans, flora and fauna in an area. Okay, so the number of fl flora and fauna are the number of plants and animals biodiversity in the world. Costa Rica is a small area, but they have about 5% of the world's biodiversity. That's a big deal. So this is the, this is biodiversity. Notice that the human is part of biodiversity and also a cause of losing our plants and animals. Okay, what percent of Costa Rica is dedicated to natural parks or reserves? Well, this is a picture of all of the parks and reserves, and you've put them all together. It's just over, I'm going to say 26% of their land is dedicated to natural parks and reserves, public and private. These are some of the animals that you would see as part of the biodiversity. So these two guys right here are the poison arrow and the red-eyed tree frog. These are tree frogs. Okay, so toucans, this guy is a toucan, and hummingbirds, okay, those are a big deal in Costa Rica. You see hummingbirds everywhere in Costa Rica. Like not one or two, like I might see in the summer, hundreds of hummingbirds, okay. In the middle, we have the scarlet macaw, beautiful, beautiful parrot family. To the right, you might not think about it, but the Costa Rican jaguar, especially in the Oso Peninsula, they're sighted. Costa Rican jaguar. Then we have a small picture of the blue morpho butterfly. Beautiful. Down at the bottom, two little crazy dudes. Okay. To the left, we have the white-faced capuchin, bold and mischievous. What are both of these? Monkeys. Okay, these are two varieties of monkeys. Howler monkeys, they make this crazy sound that they use to scare off predators. When I was in Costa Rica, they would make the boat engine rev when we were um, in a boat, and you would hear the howling monkeys respond with super loud howls because they thought they were like under attack and they were trying to scare off the predators. Okay, um... I left these two for last, the three-toed sloth, nothing to write there. Um, I will say a lot of people did not know that sloths live in the treetops. They only come down to the ground once a week to defecate or go to the bathroom. They dig a hole, they go to the bathroom, and they cover it up, and then they go right back up into the treetops. Um, remember, they move so slow that going down once a week uses a lot of their energy and it makes them prey to predators. And the last one, I would call this the symbol and most beautiful thing in Costa Rica. This is considered the most beautiful bird in the world because of his long tail feathers. Um, this is called the Quetzal. Quetzal. Okay, and that is the end of our culture and picture notes. So again, we've got the biodiversity, some of the iconic animals. They dedicate 26% of Costa Rica to natural parks and reserves. They are a green country. Ecotourism, important to find the balance. Recycling is important. Oscar Arias, Gallo Pinto, coffee beans and ox carts. We've got Puerto Limon, Parque Nacional Tortuguero, Biodiversity, San Jose is the capital, and Volcan Arenal, and Costa Rica. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know. Gracias.